Hi, I'm Brian Petrie of Tech Stocks Rock. When you think of powerful young tech CEOs, Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg or Google's Larry Page would probably come to mind first, not Ubiquity Network's Robert Pera. But in a recent Forbes article on the most powerful U.S. CEOs 40 and under, Pera was listed at number seven. Last October, Ubiquity, an exciting communications technology company, went public and he became a billionaire. It's not common for a Silicon Valley success story to have actually grown up there. Robert Perra did, and after graduating from UC San Diego with degrees in electrical engineering and Japanese, he began working at Apple on the airport Wi-Fi base station. With a strong desire to build something great, he founded Ubiquity Networks in 2005 after seeing an opportunity to use specialized technology to boost the range of Wi-Fi signals for outdoor use. Talk about bootstrapping, he built a prototype in his apartment and started trying to sell the devices online. When his first order for 3,000 units came in, he went to Taiwan to find a contract manufacturer to fill it. Ubiquity makes relatively inexpensive systems that provide internet access for just a few people or up to several thousand needing Wi-Fi over longer distance. The company has also developed an advanced video surveillance system that runs across those same networks. Since its beginning, Ubiquity has found a way to generate high operating margins by selling high-performance solutions in underpenetrated emerging markets. The company also takes a different sales approach. It relies upon distributors and resellers around the world instead of using a direct sales force. For its most recent quarter, Ubiquity reported a 95% year-over-year revenue increase and 125% net income growth. It's positioned for efficiency in a high growth market segment and its stock is currently trading around $25. This is a company to watch. To gain an investment edge, visit our website at techstocksrock.com and sign up for our newsletter about hot trends driving tech stocks.